What's up guys, this is iTechSpot here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to restore your iOS 10.2 devices while avoiding the iOS 10.2.1 update. So let's get started. Now this method will fix the issue where many users would open up Cydia and once they open up the Yalu application, it would say already jailbroken. So if you guys encounter this issue, you guys will want to restore your device back to iOS 10.2. Now as of this video, iOS 10.2 is not being signed by Apple, so you guys will want to restore your device without using iTunes. Now I won't be using this device right here to restore my device, but I will be using this iPod Touch right here which is on iOS 9.3.2. So the first thing you guys want to do is make sure you guys back up your device on both iTunes and iCloud. So in order to back up on iTunes, you guys want to head onto settings, scroll down into iCloud right here. Once you guys are in settings, you want to go into backup right there. And you guys want to make sure you back up your device on iCloud. So once you guys have backed up your device on iCloud, what you guys want to do is make sure you guys back up on iTunes. So what you guys want to do is head on to iTunes right here and you guys want to tap on backup now. Now you guys want to make sure you have an encrypt backup right here. This will save all your data including games and your health data. So you guys want to make sure you have an encrypt backup. You guys want to make a password. And once you guys have done that, you guys want to make sure you click on backup now. So once you guys have backed up on both iTunes and iCloud, you guys can see them both right here on the latest backups. You guys will see your iCloud and your iTunes backup. Now before we get started with the backup, I'm going to show you guys that this device is on iOS 9.3.2. So it does confirm it right here on iTunes. And I'm going to show you guys on my device as well. So we're going to head on to settings right here. We're going to go into general and about and as you guys can see here i am on ios 9.3.2 now keep in mind ios 9.3.2 is not being signed as well so this method will also work on both ios 9 and also ios 10.2 so once you guys have finished all the backups you guys want to unplug your device from your computer now as you guys want to head back onto your device go into general you want to scroll down into storage and icloud usage go into manage storage and you guys want to make sure you have deleted the iOS 10.2.1 software update. So I have already deleted that off my device. So we're going to scroll back here. Now before we actually update, you guys want to do this at your own risk. I am not responsible for any data that will be lost on your devices. So make sure you guys do this on your own risk. Alrighty guys, so now what you guys want to do is head into general. You guys want to scroll down into reset. Once you guys are inside of reset, you guys want to go into erase all content and settings. Now you guys will want to put in your passcode. All right. Now you guys want to tap on erase your device. So this is the iPod. So we're going to tap on erase iPod. We're going to tap on it one more time. Now you guys want to put in your Apple ID password. All right. So now I'm going to tap on erase. So now your device will be restoring without updating to iOS 10.2.1. So we're just going to wait for this to finish right here and I will be right back. Alright guys, so my device has finished restoring here. So once you guys have the hello screen, you guys want to set up your device as a new device. So we're going to set it up really quick here. Alright guys, so once you get to this step right here, you guys want to click on restore from iTunes backup. So we're going to tap on it right there. Now it's going to ask us to plug in our device to iTunes. All right, so we're going to click on our device on iTunes right here. Now you will see your restore from right here. So you guys will see the last backup. So that is right here. We're going to tap on continue. Now, of course, you guys back up your device through the encryption backup. So we're going to type in your password. All right, so once you guys have tapped on your password, you want to tap on OK. Now your device will begin restoring from the backup you guys have made before. Alright guys, so my device is now going to reboot right here. So this is the final restart and we should be finishing up right here. Alrighty guys, so my device has booted up. So we're going to slide to unlock here. Alright, so as you guys can see here, if I swipe over, all my applications are still here. Now iTunes will load them. So you guys want to make sure your device is plugged into iTunes. So now we're going to head into settings right here. Once we are in setting, we're going to go down into general. I'm going to go into about. And as you guys could see here, my device is still on iOS 9.3.2. 
So right here. So you guys know that my device has updated successfully. So once you guys have restored your device back to iOS 10.2 without updating to iOS 10.2.1, you guys can now re-jailbreak your device using the latest Yaloop jailbreak tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Feel free to comment down below if you run into any problems. Also, don't forget to like and share this video since it helps out the channel so much. And feel free to subscribe since we'll be posting videos every single week. Anyways guys, this is iTechSpot and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace!